Okay, so we're going to move on to fitting the secondary crown and rafter. The secondary crown and rafter was the original hip. Now that corner has disappeared, sits back on distance A, which is the end plate for the semi octagonal. It becomes a crown and rafter due to the fact it is a roof component that's 90 degrees to the top plate. So the centre line of the secondary crown and rafter is right there. And there's one, two, another one over here obviously between the two hips. So calculating the length of that for a millimetre perfect cut Not too difficult. I'm going to take the half span of my job. I'm going to subtract the apex reduction. for the CER, secondary. The apex reduction is the distance from the centre line set out of the apex cluster to the point where the secondary crown end rafter is going to hit it. This one's already in and you can see I need the horizontal distance from that centre line point to where the component is going to slot into the connection detail at the apex. I'm holding my rule on 200, aligned with the apex centering point, and I'm calculating or measuring out 25 millimetres, horizontally 25 millimetres, to where the long point of the secondary crown end rafter comes together in that connection. So substituting those values into the formula, the half span for my job here is 600. I'm going to deduct from that a 25 millimetre apex reduction, and that gives me 575. Therefore, 575 multiplied by true length common rafter per metre one point one three three will give me the cutting length of the secondary crown end exactly. 0.575 multiplied by 1.133 equals 651. Again, it makes no difference what the half span of the job is. For the demonstration for you all, it is a model so you can see what's going on. 600, but it could be 3.6 for a full size job construction. Makes no difference. Here's the component that I've cut. It's a rafter, so it's the 28 degree rafter cut. It's a secondary crown end, so the saw was rolled over to 45 degrees when I made those cuts. So straight up the plumb cut on 45 degrees. I've then hooked my tape on the long point apex. Come down to the upstand, which you can probably see there, hopefully. 651, exactly. 651, plumb down, down the bird's mouth. Obviously included the eave width, tail overhang, 
And of course you can see, once that sits in position, it's a perfect fit. So again, millimetre perfect. Of course we would fix the upstand point of the tail to distance A or the end plate. And then we would fix the apex in, making sure each side of the secondary crown end aligned flush with each side of the main crown end and the centering rafter. Center line line up with center line line up. That's how you get the secondary crown end rafter length.